Okay, oh hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... He is a mighty Drakir at your service and where's my dri dive... Dive... I almost said driving mask. Diving mask, where is it? There. Ah, thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, we were thank planning on... We were planning on streaming LA Noir more, but uh, apparently Rom is unavailable last minute. We gave him some extra time to show up, but I'm presuming he got dragged away with family or something. So yeah, back we're doing Dave the Diver as a backup. And people who have been keeping paying attention might notice that the number of the stream jumped from 10 to 12. And that is because I did a dumb because, well, the last time uh, Ram couldn't show, we also went to Dave the Diver as the backup, but I, <laughs> I forgot that, that I've been using the bots that's been that announces the stream as a way to keep count of the streams. And yeah, since we started that stream as an Eleanor stream, I got the count wrong. So last time when I said we were we were 20 hours in, we were actually 20 hours in instead of 18, like I said <laughs> right after. <laughs> okay, let's continue. We've got an access to the glacier passage or glacial passage. And yeah. Tomorrow we have the VIP coming and the Marlin party as well. And yeah, I, hmm, I'm still a bit, I'm still a bit unsure on if the sailfish will count as Marlin. It's a similar kind of fish, so I think it should. But yeah. Should hopefully, for I think they're all related species. Yeah. Um. I'm not a fish expert. Just be clear, I'm not a fish expert. I'm not. Shit. Okay. Uh, I think we had to ask Boncho for something. Hmm? Cuisine made with seaweed? A simple dish using seaweed will not leave a strong impression. They probably have that at the sea uh, people village. First, bring me seaweed, right, uh, rice, and sea urchin. Okay. I'll give them our harmonious blend of ingredients from the land and sea. Mm. Hmm. White rice, sea urchin, and seeds. I'll have to try gathering them. We should have plenty of those. We don't miss something. Uh, don't you uh, eat the green stuff on our own sushi seaweed? Yep. But it, it, it's not raw, of course. It's been processed. Hmm. So how it's processed, I don't actually know. And yeah, it's not... It not it's also not just random seaweed from the sea. It's, I believe there are specific farms for that as well. Oh, no. You've bought the ingredients. Yes, then I'll start preparing sea urchin seaweed rice. <laughs> Once again, we're just bringing a bag of whatever. And there we go. Here, the sea people should be satisfied with this. Thank you, Bancho. Let's bring it to the sea people farmer. Okay, this time I think we'll go the long way uh, to see if there's any more sailfish that we can catch. 
does Cobra have any nets? That would... I, I think, yeah, that'll be the deciding factor if he has any nets. Uh, yeah, he has a steel net sensor trap. Okay, catches two fish at the same time. And... Let's see, we have the... We have the new necklace that's allowed... That, <clears throat> that allows us to pass through the two boron passages without a flashlight. Um... Yeah, let's take that, and yeah, just in case, because last time we were down there, it was a bit uh, sparse with escape points. Pelican eel, okay. Oh. Let's see, are there any fish here that we have only a few of, outside of tuna that is? So that's what Pelican E looks like, but uh, not being terrifying. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, is that so much? Okay, that's how much we have of the meats. Okay, tuna, jellyfish. Uh, yeah, tuna. Okay, offers. Okay, if we see... Hmm, I don't... Are those all the shallows? Okay, I... Hmm. Is there a way to do this the other way around? That we have the lowest amount on top? Hmm. Okay, at the very least we should have enough of all of the ones that are swimming around us currently. So give me a sec. Um, there we go. There. Okay. I just I just unpowered all of the extra drives that are attached to my computer. I probably shouldn't have those active most of the time, but I was working with videos just before. Uh, yeah. Because last time that we streamed, we didn't have any issues with the controller having connection troubles. So I'm presuming that was the... Well, that was the problem. Oh, hello there. Yep. Oh, hey. yep. There we go. I'm God. I did not expect to run into these that quickly with the... Uh, wait, are they... Okay, yeah, these are two now. Giant Travale is also something we want. Oop. And... Oop. Okay, that got two of them. Nice. Off you two go. And I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure that should mean we have a breathing pair. That's what we do. Oh, hello. That's a new one, I think. Over there. Uh, first off, let's clear you out. Oh, wait, aren't these the ones that we found down lower? What are you doing so active now? It's not nighttime or anything. If it was, all of these other I fish wouldn't be you. around. No, you don't. Did you migrate up somehow? Oh, okay. I didn't think you'd be big enough for this. Marbled electric ray eel ray. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've we've had one of these before. Yeah, but was it? I think we had electric eel ray, but marbled. Hmm. Oh, there's the yellow. Uh, there's the yellow fin uh, tuna. I'm guessing that as we progress, new species are going to appear everywhere. Uh, let's see. Would make sense. Hmm. Yeah, I should also keep an eye out for the giant Trevale, since we need those fins for upgrades. Let me see. 
Oh, wait, does it? Does it act? No, okay. For a moment I thought, does it show the ones that are nearby? But no, we have we have the most meat of these that are near. But it'll be nice to add on a bit to that, maybe. Yep. We have 213 meat of those. So we should be able to upgrade some recipes with them quite a bit. What's going to be in here? Scooter. Yeah, I, I was saving these mostly before for dodging things in combat, but I think we can just get a, we can get away with using them more liberally than that. Also, yoink. I see you there. Okay. Also, there's the fact that we need to find that uh, that place that one of the sea people kids snuck into. It should be somewhere on the right, right side here. Probably a lot deeper than this, but still. Is there a way to sort this by proximity or something? Okay, that's for unknowns. Doing a quick look of that thing on the sides. Hmm. Oh, oh wait, we're in the, we're deeper now. So yeah, that's a dusky grouper. We've got 4, 24 meat of that. Uh, we can skip that. Cuttlefish, we should have plenty. Mackerel, we should have plenty of. Yeah, one of these, you know, one of these days or one of these streams, we should do a dive just collecting as many live samples as we can to fill in the fish farms with a bunch of breeding pests. That's the, that's one we need. This is not what we need, but we can break it down for some parts. Okay. And yeah, it's also just nice to start from the top again, instead of just always from the bottom. I kind of agree. Now, what are you? And this is a gi giant trevale. <laughs> Already got the tuna and the oh, sailfish. Yeah. Wait, we didn't have meat of that before? Okay. Uh, let's see, what's this? Trigger bomb trap. Would be useful for killing something big. But I don't have much of a interest in that at the moment. That's more useful for against sharks or bosses. Yeah. Ooh. Yoink. Okay. Another one of you. Miss. Not my target, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's what you get for clowning around. <laughs> that wasn't the controller, that was me just missing with the buttons. Or rather, missing with the buttons. Oh. Wait, what are these? The ROM! Yep. Oh, hey, ROM. Hey, uh, yeah. Two, three. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Uh, you saw the message? Yeah, I did. Yes, sorry about that. I'm, I'm guessing you got pulled away for groceries or something. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I tried to make it fast, but, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, well. There's always next time. Yeah. Also trying to... Play again. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4. Hang on, let me post some images. Yes, I have four of my... Oh... Okay. Now this is going to put us uh, over the weight This is my stone. 
I'm strongly concerned. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, is it, uh, one thing I should probably also try to be with some of these dives is to just be a lot more specific with the things that we hunt. Okay. Now, in the depths, we should be able to go past those uh, two born passages a lot safer now. Might as well, since we have the space. So we have oh, no, no needs. Oh. Hmm? I just read something I learned least recently. Since you oh. mentioned worms. I learned that many years ago, I thought when, they sold tapeworms as a method of losing weight. I mean, uh, technically they can allow you to lose weight. It just so happens that you starve to death. Yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit too good at the job. When I got ported, I made Lucille from The Walking Dead. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I should. I should. Who was that again? Hmm. Oh, wait, from the The Walking Dead uh, Telltale Let's series. Do it. I... No, 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 uh, well, the TV series and the comic book. Basically, Lucille oh, is wait. the baseball bat wrapped in... Uh, oh, the weapon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It has been years since I watched it. Are you guys on DVD? I've not watched it yet. Yeah, I've never really seen it. I've mostly seen stuff secondhand about how it started great, stayed good for a good long while, and then just absolutely tanks towards the end. Uh, this must be the oh, sign to the underwater yeah. lake that the Sea People's children were talking about. Okay. You said Morrow hadn't returned yet, right? Maybe I'll follow the sign. Okay, first of all though, let's take a peek in here. Okay, oxygen. Nice. Also, we can get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm running a mod so that I can have both male soul survivor and the female soul survivor as a companion. Okay, I think I've seen that one. Jump out this spider crab. Ahmad, I am trying to hopefully make work. Okay. Is, um... Uh, the... It's called Highwayman Personal Car Fast Travel. Basically, you find a car near the Red Rocket and not too far from the Sanctuary. Okay. And if you fix it, you can use it as your own personal travel. And I've been trying to use that mod with another mod called the Highwayman, which gives it a more beat up look like the one you'd use in Fallout 2, Fallout. Yeah, in Fallout 2 gives it that Mad Max rusted out, busted look. Yeah, I, I remember that one. Never never played well, Fallout 2 myself, but I have seen a complete playthrough. The problem is, the problem for that is that I try, like, pr like going to the car, I press the use key on, ru on ruined car, and it just does the sound of a starter trying to go, but not going. Okay. It's supposed to basically display a menu that says, oh, okay, this thing requires, looks like this thing is beat up, but can be reused, but can be fixed, requires X amount of items, and gives you the option to either attempt to repair or leave, and I haven't gotten that up, that little menu ever. Okay, odds. Must probably an incompatibility th somewhere. Probably, I fucking, uh, yeah. I'm having a, I'm having a grand old fucking day trying to just have this shit. You want to know what's even dumber? I figured out how to use console commands because I just kind of got tired of a lot of shit. So I just said fuck it and gave myself, put myself into level 40 because I just wanted to use gun nut, armor, and uh, a few others. Mm -hmm. You know, for uh, making weapons. Yeah. And. and I basically just said screw it and just cheated myself into level 40. You want to know the dumbest 
thing I had to do. Uh, what I then? Had to, I had to swap my PC's uh, specific language to English because it doesn't think because even though Fallout 4 is set up in English, it doesn't you it doesn't allow me to use the tilde key. It to fucking accept to like open the the little console command menu, even though Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 allow me to do that, and they're on the same engine. And I ran into this problem to an XCOM 2, but I was able to fix it. Your and case I didn't is have weird. to swap my fucking language for it, but. I, but no, Fallout 4, you gotta swap your language, and because different keyboards, that means I got a that means I got a Peruvian <laughs> keyboard, and I gotta push one button to see what that button does, mm. just to be on the safe side whenever I type out something. Okay. But anyway, uh. let me know what you. Oh right, I also have two mods specifically. Uh, Nora, the female soul survivor, is wearing Matt the outfit from Mad Max, and my soul survivor, the male one, is wearing basically an up, basically an outfit that's essentially you upgrade your vault suit for so that. You know how in the original Fallout games, when you technically go naked, you're just wearing the vault suit. Like in Fallout uh, yeah. 1 and 2. Yeah. In, well, they pretty much did something like that. Basically, you upgrade the suit so that you add in, like, extra clothing and padding. And basically, I look like what it looks like in the image that I posted in General Gaming. Okay, I'm can't really post... look at the moment. I know, but I'm gonna post one. I'm gonna post both of them. Yep. Uh -oh. I'm gonna post both outfit pictures. That's that. And that's that. Um, just, honestly, I even what I'm looking at, I actually kind of want to experience Dave the Diver myself. <laughs> it is reasonably cheap, I believe. But I am also broke. Uh, well, if it goes on sale, I can probably get it for you. Uh, okay. Also, excuse Maybe I should take me a while I add in Armored Core 6 to... Actually, I wouldn't know if there's other Armored Core game I honestly never heard about it before this sixth one started uh, getting announced I kind of just want to make my own mech and and tear shit up oh and uh, Saints Row got added in like recently like the reboot yeah uh, that's a random thing honest oh and I got Dying Light, the definitive edition, as in Dying Light with all of the DLC. There we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, now let's go take with uh, uh Did we run into another boss? Probably. <laughs> I think we did. But yeah. We somehow wind up in a situation where we can't play a. Borderlands for some reason, but we still want to play co-op. We can probably play that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should probably go look at modding Fallout 4 again sometime and try the VR version because that's supposed to play a lot different since you can't actually pause the game and just cheese things by, well, <laughs> as in Skyrim, swallow ten cheat rolls of cheese or wheels <laughs> of cheese. <laughs> Uh, what was that sound? Yeah, you can put it in there, yeah. I'll do it later. It, I have like, uh, I have like the whole fucking list. Yeah. We could also probably add Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition as well, since that can do multiplayer. Do it a cheap uh, Baldur's Gate. Let's see. Uh, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say if we do ever uh, do co-op, I cannot oh. do anything to uh, uh, that's a goblin shark. That's terrifying. <laughs> and but anyway, I can't do Payday 2. Not because they don't like it, I do own the game. It's literally that it is way too heavy and I have nowhere to install. Okay. 
Uh, also, hello there in chat, Durvin Lord. Hi, you all. And I'm curious of the new Armored Core. I own Armored Core for for answer on Xbox. That looks autocorrected. And that one is good. Oh, human, you came to rescue me. I'm here to rescue you. But what is this monster? Oh. I was just here to, like, uh, yeah, to take a look at the lake. That's when... Uh, the, I don't think the, the shark has time for monologuing. <laughs> or patience for it. Yeah, goblin shark. And it, yep, it can put the... That's something that I learned recently. Some sharks and fish can move their jaws forward. So even if you think you're outside of their bite range, uh, here comes the extendo jaw. Yeah, I, it's way bigger than it's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, I think I now know where they got the idea for the second mouth in the xen xenomorphs from. Uh, this is a problem. Looks like I have to find a way. Oh, and that way is... Explosives! <laughs> you... Fuck up. <laughs> Good thing that I picked those up, huh? Yeah. 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 Holy! Come here, you knockoff uh, Spider-Man villain. In <laughs> a single shot. Oh, it's not done yet. Ew. <laughs> you breathe the wrong and something in your body decides to fall apart. Ew. And oop, there we go. Goblin slain. Okay, and of course, we're going to loot it. Wait, does that make you Goblin Shock Slayer? Yep. <laughs> and yes, I was making a reference to that Goblin Slayer stuff. I've never seen it beyond some memes. I read it and I gave up on it, but it was a bit dark. I just couldn't trust reading it. Okay. <laughs> oh, then, I, then trust me, you do not want to read something like, oh, yes, who me pun pun. Or berserk. Phew. Barely defeated it. Barely. Maybe can. Maybe can. <laughs> Thank you, human. Why are you? In, why are you in such a dangerous place? I just have well, noticed that the Drakir is wearing a diving suit. Yep. Or at least a helmet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why aren't you? I'm guessing I'm just like on the boat up there, like. Above ground. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to see the underwater lake. <laughs> Get a lot of this kid. Anyway, let's go back to the village. Okay, and this is going to. Yep. Automatically move us here. Morrow, I was so weary about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? Was there really a lake in the water? I took a photo. You want to see it? Whoa, it's amazing. <laughs> wow. I know you're disappointed, but be satisfied with the photo. There were dangerous monsters there. Okay. Anyway, thank you for saving me. You know what? I'm going to ask this somewhere else. Okay. I won't leave the village now. Ugh. Let me get some extra credits. Now then. Doesn't seem like the board has anything new. So, let's see. I'm guessing the workshop is still closed. Yep, but we can bring that seaweed dish to the farmer. It's a bit more than just yeah, seaweed, I but... I was going to say this. Hmm? I was going to say this. Hello, dear lord. I forgot to say that. Here, this is cuisine made from seaweed. What are these little round white balls? Human cuisine? I can predict the taste, but I'll give it a try. Yep. <laughs> what the heck? 
Was that supposed to be a free really reference, sort of? Huh, oh, this is a new taste. Maybe Flicker? Maybe? I'm not much into marine movies anymore. The soft texture of seaweed and the little white grains. They go so well together. This yellow thing, it adds such rich flavor. There are sea urchin eggs. Is this your first time seeing them? Yeah, one, two. Hmm? You okay there? I was gonna say... Uh... What was I gonna say? I forgot. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, um... The only marine light, the only marine movie I've seen is Jaws. Yeah, that was on TV Maybe here. Maybe Titanic if we want to count it, given the boat is underwater. <laughs> I guess, but yeah, Jaws was on TV again here a few days ago. <laughs> it's oh, sea urchins. I've been meaning to get into cosplay. I don't have the energy to do anything, so. Uh, good luck with Dave the Diver. See you next time. See ya. Okay. Is he from home? Uh, let's see. I guess humans are able to use various sea ingredients. I'm surprised. <laughs> Bunsu is very serious about seafood. Alright, a promise is a promise. I'll open up the seaweed farm for you. Oh? However, I want to make a separate farm to avoid food supply issues to the village. It's going to take some time. Please wait. Okay, then I'll be back later. This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, crusty old... <laughs> no, not crusty old crab, but crusty old fish. Getting to taste something new and learn a lot. Are you new? You want to listen? Wooten, would you like a little live music? Nice little tune. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Hello, familiar. And also, we still not checked the short game there yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's give it a look. Let's see. Shark Teeth. Okay. This is the game of sharks, which you will play with Junak. Remember the shark cavity that you will... Yep. Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of. Numbers between 1 and 3 are selected, and whoever touches it first will lose. Okay. Okay, I thought it was similar to, like, the... Those mechanical, uh... Uh, that game? Me me yeah, mechanical board ish games where you have like a shark or bullhead and you need to push teeth, and one of them will randomly cause it to sh slam shut. Bullhead? Yeah, only, only the crocodile one. Yeah, not bull, uh, bull, <laughs> a bulldog or something. A dog head or fish yeah, head or something. Yeah, the spell. Oh, wait, the, oh, wait, the bulldog is where you try to steal its bones. Yeah, okay. Now, which of the teeth is going to be bad? Okay, that's one. Uh, let's start with a big jump. Okay, uh, kind of lost. Oh, oh I, now I know why his finger is bandaged like that. Okay, we kind of have to force him to be... We want to end as close to it as possible to force him to take it. We want to end up just in front of it. So for now we can take some big leaps. And uh, I think I, I, I think I've kind of forgotten which it was. It was either. Uh, yeah, we have, it. yeah. Okay. You can, uh, you can, I don't. I think you can just two. For either free or free mm. might be a one way, but it's getting close. Yeah, it's either the fourth or the fifth one from here. Um, yeah, the point, the thing is, you need to look to the one that you saw move, but you also need to look back to how many teeth are left so you can lose where you saw. 
But I'm going to guess it is number five. So let's play it slow. Okay. Then either yeah, it's it's only ten one, of them. Plus, just one. I think you're close. Yep. Okay. I told you one. The, the, I thought it was the one after that, but yeah, it was only ten, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, he must have lost that game quite a lot to have his finger banged like that. Whilst we're here, let's do this. Okay. In this game, you try to find the hermit crab that hides uh, that, that hide the, hides the pearl. Guess which of the fast-moving hermit crabs hide, hit the pearl. Or hit the... Yeah, hit, not hides. Hit the pearl. Okay. Okay, it's that one. It's like it's like a cup game, with, but with four instead of three. Okay. Upper left. Okay, they, they actually go pretty fast with that, even for a number one. Okay. So, What's this is a good doing? way to get... Yeah, he's... What, who, Dave or the other one? The other one. Yeah, he was just being disappointed. Uh, do we have any to register? Yes, we do. Let's see. Okay, let's do one race, and then we'll leave it at that for this. Um, let's do a combined race. Let's see. Okay, 54. I'm going to keep this one for a single race, or a solo race. So that one, 40. 42. 40. And 39. Okay. Hmm. It'd probably be smart to put a high acceleration one up front. So you can get the, up to speed quickly. And if you do the uh, pass over correctly, you don't need to have high acceleration on the later ones. Now, which button was it again to pass over? I think it was a trigger or shoulder. A shoulder it was. Okay. I just realized. You said say Dave looks like a seaman clap? Yep. I don't think seas can clap over their heads. Maybe. I usually clap in front of them. There we go. Yeah, we've got this in the bag unless I mess up this last bit. Oh. Well, I messed it up, but we're still ahead. We've got this. We've got this in the sandbag, so to say. Mm. All right. Okay. We got a good amount of money with that. And the only thing we've seen uh, that we're... Only Mimas so far has required payment. Well, there's also the Beluga Whale, but we don't actually... They, I'm guessing they're probably pretty cheap. So we might start to use some of them. Okay, for now, uh, let's see, 55. Okay, some pretty high stats. But we have one that about matches that. So let's go. Okay, speeding up. Actually... Okay, I was I was keeping a finger over the shoulder button, but this is a single race, so there's no needs for that. Okay. 
There we go. Second place got pretty close, though. Yeah, I I'm guessing all of this bay is going to be useful for upgrades at the workshop. Other than that, I don't and see much use for it. Well. Yeah, that as well. And okay. dumplings. I don't think the dumplings are going to become more uh, expensive unless she uh, starts making new ones. Uh, it, okay, it's literally that amount. Okay. Yeah, it is just moving back and forth. Or, actually, not. Wait, the, there's a howder? <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah, for, 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 for four coins, I'd say it is more than uh, worth it. Okay, we still need a skull for that, but we can turn that one in. Does it have his own little tune here? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. There's nothing else here at the moment, so let's turn around and head for the glacier passage. Glacial, glacier, glacial. Uh, I'm probably going to keep swapping between them because the game keeps swapping between them. Okay. This is our stop. Yep. Just activated my fan. Short fin Mako. Okay, large shark with big black eyes and sharp snout. Give me that. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that, that is definitely going to be toxic. So best get rid of you. Actually, not my actual target, but okay. Come back here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, okay, it's... Okay, it doesn't really hurt, but it yeah, it causes confusion. Okay, I'm yeah. Confusion it, it, is not good in. It, not good underwater, yeah, but it it reverses the controls. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, not good underwater, and definitely. I. Hmm. When it reverses controls. I do suspect people who are really good at said game already know how to re reverse the confusion in a way, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Like, it happens in the Beyond Good and Evil's finale. And, yeah, it is a... It is just a... It is a shock to the system, so to say, but once you figure it out, you, you know how to, uh, well, counteract it. Similar contraptions here as well. Hmm. I guess it should work just like last time. Okay, quick look around. Okay, just some oxygen. Hmm. Okay, yep, there's like a dawn down there. We should keep an eye on that. Okay. That is frozen, but there is a statue behind there. You really need another tree fruits to get that. Okay. Now then, we're going to have to stun this guy and then hit the switch. Or do we need to hit them? We just need to hit this. Oh, oh okay, he's still mobile. Which means we hit that, and then we hit the underwater road. <laughs> uh, wait, that's closed now. Uh... Okay, yeah, that didn't help much. Let's see, is there no... There doesn't... Hmm. Oh, wait, we can swim through that. Okay, whilst its back is turned... We just swim through here. 
and make this a bit easier on ourselves. Actually, yeah, there's no, there was no need for that. Okay, just go up. Lock the Gadon in his little cell. And let's see. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Kind of need that. Okay, need to drop this from a decent height. Then turn the switch whilst it's still falling. Yep. Yep. Too late. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna be a bit annoying. Especially since there's a slight delay or activate. Oh, that, that caught it. Okay. It, it looked for a second like we could use it, turn the thing whilst we were holding it, but no. Uh, also, let's melt this ice first before we go for the extra prize. Oh, can we even melt? Yes, we can. So that's a lot of ice. What is, that? what is that contraption in the front? It looks like it can hold something. Should I use a divine tree fruit? Hmm. Okay, if we do that, all of that ice is likely going to melt. That's my guess. So... Yeah. Let's get that statue. We don't know how much they sell for, but since it's gold, I'm going to guess it's going to sell for quite a bit. And that'll mean we have th three of them to sell. Okay. Lovely, lovely gold. Yep, another fish statue. Okay. And that should get picked up. Yep. And then we just carry it over. Okay. I do wonder what is down here, but like I have the idea that the Dashe or that guy Dashe might be causing trouble, but we have nothing to confirm that. Also, I think that's a new fish down there. Or is that growing from the tree somewhere? Oh, another mural. Wait, is that the, the pink dolphin? Oh, the wall was melted by the divine by the light of divine tree fruit. I see your mural. I see the mural now. Yep. Yeah, and the fish is firing it, <laughs> its laser. Uh, Dave, you sure you don't want to take a picture of the mural first? Oh, the light of the divine tree is shining right next to the ice. Maybe I can melt the ice if I slightly change the angle of the mirror. Okay. What if I pick out the rock over there? But I don't have any tool to use right now. I should return to the boat and ask Cobra. Uh, before we do that, let's go look at that mur mural. Uh, or not. Okay, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> we... I'm not sure what to do here. I'll have to ask Cobra. If really, you're not going to go back and take a, fi a photo of the... Uh... Okay. At the very least... I can catch a few of these. Yeah. I I'm not good with uh, stick wiggle stuff like this. Unless I turn the, the controller. Yeah, like, I'm not good at it with uh, Monster Hunter Story 2, but I usually don't like them for it. I feel like I, I might risk breaking the controller or something. 
at least they become easier each time. It's more that my my hands moves from it. My hand we, uh, loses friction with the button, even though it has a, a cover to uh, increase uh, your hold. Let's just catch these fish and then head out. Now, so it, it'd probably be a good idea to just put a hole or two in them, making them easier to catch. Like that. Okay. A bit overkill, probably, but it saves us a little bit of time. There. Okay, now let's head out. I'll leave these be. Yeah. Okay. Okay, if we summon it with the whistle, it costs a little bit more, but we have plenty. Okay. And yeah, the beluga isn't slowed down by our own weight, or our own carry weight. Oop, something at the boards. Should have to check that out before we head to the boats. Let's see. Oh, kill more crabs. Okay. And kill Fangtooth. Okay. Still room for two more missions. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nighttime. Hmm. So you want to take out the rock stuck in the uh, crack? Then you should use a crowbar. Oh, do you have one? Uh, we know where we can find one, likely. Well, the thing is, I ordered one, but the delivery ship carrying it sunk. You may find it on the seafloor where the deli de yeah, delivery ship sank. Huh. Where I found the giant squid. That will be easy, since that squid is no more. <laughs> Good. What are, you what are you waiting for, then? I ordered a red crowbar. <laughs> okay, should I even ask what you wanted to use that for? And that is a Wait. lot of meat. Hold on. He said red cro yep. crowbar. And we know a certain uh, silent character that uses one. That's Morgan Freeman. Wait. Okay. Did I get that wrong again? <laughs> yes. Oh, four applicants. Uh, El Nino and Yone. Okay. No. Everything over here should be done. But let me double check just the same. And yeah, the 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 loading tip there said it, except on rainy days. If the crops need to weed, be weed, 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 weed. If you can sell weed, yep. if you can sell weed. Yep. Let's weed that out. Okay. <laughs> Over to Bancho. Now, let's have a look. Uh, To-do list, crowbar, vegetable sushi is all done. So we can stop following that. Uh, yep, we can only track three at a time. Let's see. Skull, spider crab, and fang tooth. Let's check on these. Oop. Yep, there's the goblin shark. The ugly mofo. A shark that can grow up to seven meters long. It extends its jaws rapidly when, eat when eating a prey. Although it has a wide global distribution, it is rarely seen. Oop. Wait, the can look that big? I thought it was yep. small. Uh, let's see. Peacock squid, as his name suggests, has long and fabulous tentacles that look like the feathers of a peacock. One can see its organs clearly as the squid has transparent skin. 
and barrel eye. A small deep sea uh. fish. His big spherical eyes inside his transparent skin. Okay, that looks like a diglet. <laughs> and the heck is this last one here? Oh, oh, it's one of those. Okay, I don't uh, remember the name, uh, but I remember uh, the shape. And the vampire I squid. I thought this was a pelican uh, Looks like a vampire, but it merely consumes organic matter floating in the deep sea. It can generate a special light that disrupts the equilibrium of the prey. Uh, Alright, yes, yeah, some creatures have that, where they just basically strobe light uh, <laughs> creatures to confuse the hell out of them. And yeah, a glacier passage part got opened up here, so... Yeah. This, the game doesn't betray any other, other other areas that might become unlocked. Hmm. It seems we're still missing some over here. Okay. Uh, nothing to trade in. Oh, act, we can trade send that in. Okay. Uh, they want. Okay. Now we have two reasons to go after Fang Tooth. And let's see, secure a variety of fish specimens from the hidden place to find a way to preserve the ecology. Okay, get two starfish in the glacial passage. Yeah, it, the game keeps swapping between glacier and glacial passage. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to take anything on, on speaking that wrong either way, since the game keeps flip-flopping. Okay. Now, let's set the menu. Okay, Puffer, Sushi, we only have one of you, but you sell for a lot, so we're putting you as the special for today. Tuna, we could put on the menu, since there's no need for us to hoard it for an event. Plus, we can... Uh, mm, do we upgrade it and put only three on, then? Or, nah. Let's do... Let's do eight. Then we have this, sea grapes and rice. Sailfish is saved for tomorrow. Mega mouth. Let's put three of those on. I want to try and hit 20 each time. Tuna. Uh, let's see, uh, 12. Let's do eight of that. And what have we here? Trout, sea grapes, rice bowl. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Let's do five of these. Actually, let's enhance it since it, it's a different meat that we that was caught from the fish. <laughs> Here we go. And then we put five on. Let's see, nine, 12, 20, 25. And let's do... I'm probably overdoing it. Uh, yeah, better to have too much than too little. So 30, we can serve 30, 30 customers tonight. Okay. Research. A goblin shark belly roast. The fatty meat of a goblin shark is aged with olive oil and cooked on low flame. Despite its ugly appearance, its meat is soft and tender. Okay, so sort of like an upgraded version of the shark head. <laughs> and let's see, let's actually save up some. Let's see, none of these oh. are anything special for the event. So, yep, yeah, right let's back. just do both. Right let's see. And the poke game, or however you pronounce it. Okay. What about these new hires? You are, I mean, we've seen you before, you are still as pricey. You are a very good cook, but we already have a very good cook. You are a good ingredient prepper and good cook. But you are really good at Ugh. procuring. Okay. Sorry, I... You are not good. 
Where the voice is called again. Okay. Not throw up, but where you have some coming up in the throat. Oh, hello. So I had drink to drink some water. Drink serving master and cleaning master. Okay, this guy, and he has a maximum of 900 serving. Okay, you, we are going to hire you. We are going to train you up. And you... Oh, he's the you one are another you've been crook. waiting for, basically. Uh, oh, oh, okay, he's really pricey at that. Hmm. But I think he, he would be worth it, I think. So you are hired. Okay. And the rest of these we can leave here for a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Once they're trained up, they're going to replace Billy as our secondary. Then Raptor can take care of Cocktails and Wasabi. And yeah, basically, <laughs> once that is done, I think they can basically just sit back and relax during the day. Yeah. We probably should look for someone else who is a really good cook to replace Raul. But beyond that, I think we are good. So let's send some people off on... Actually... Let's hold off on training for a moment. And send them off for dispatch again. Yeah, uh, wait, uh, I just would put uh, El Nino to work right away. No, they, they need to be trained up before their skills unlock. And we need money for all that. Right, right. Uh, actually... Uh, okay. I, I, almost, I almost opened Wait, up already. Let's see. And I think we should hold off a bit on that until we've, we've got more money to train them with. For now... Uh, let's see... Where, which, where is that fish that we had so much of? We can upgrade their dish a lot. Though I get the feeling there's going to be a maximum to which you can upgrade something. Yeah, we need a lot of blue tanks for that next, le next, next level. Striped mullets. Uh, was it? No, it wasn't you. Ah, uh, there, Triggerfish. They need... Oh, yeah, that's going to take a lot to upgrade them, though. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to get salt. A lot of salt. Alright, I will cut, uh, cut an onion near you, then. <laughs> Triggerfish. Yeah, there has to be a maximum level that this can all go to. And I'm guessing that level is going to be 10. Oh, wait, you are, the pr you are the tastiest thing we have at the moment, it seems now, huh? Okay, good reason to go after the trigger fish, then. Um... There's a lot to upgrade, apparently. Yeah. Let's see. There. Okay, now that is the tastiest uh, thing we have. Uh, Wait, I'm bringing Bucket over by me again. Marlin, we're going to avoid that. Finally, better, but apparently not. Okay. Just looking for anything that has big numbers next to it, so I can upgrade it a lot. Giant Trevale. Oh wait, no, that's uh, Triviani. You Triviani, I think about. Leone. This one, yellow tang. And 
there. I'm probably I'm probably wasting quite a bit of uh, fish to, by doing this, but we have just so much of so many of these. And, well, we're going to run out of... It's, it's likely that we're going to run low, not out, on some of the more pricier fish eventually. Okay. So having a... Yeah, pricey and tasty backups is going to be useful. Plus, what else are we going to use all of these for? Okay. Sea urchin. There. Parrotfish. Okay. Uh, f Barracuda. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be constantly dealing with hostile fish, so we might as well use them. Mm, actually... Obtains? No, Obtain is the most recent. Uh, level of dish? No. Okay, that, I'm guessing this is the amount that's... Re 161 of these. Okay. Let's see. Can we... How far can we upgrade that? 161. And that's, I think that's our new tastiest. Okay, up to level 9 with that. Okay. Then we have this one. Uh, this one. Hmm. Okay, let, I'll leave it at that for now, otherwise we're here for like half an hour with these. But let's see. Do we have a newest tastiest? Yes, we have the giant favali as our current tastiest. So that's more reason for us to go after them to upgrade these. And yeah, nautiluses and such we will get as we go. Okay, and the priciest is the goblin shark. Uh, I'll save that for tomorrow. Okay. Nothing else to be done? No. Open up, then. Okay. Actually, I should probably have looked up how tips on the, uh, on the beer th one. There. Yeah, the trick with these is to do it until the... The flow on the side almost starts to tip over, like there. Ooh, wasabi. And people want beer. Okay, better a bad serve than no serve. Okay. Oop. Green tea. We know oh, how to do that. I read the chat. The chat is going here. Someone. I feel. I feel. I feel the beer act. Yeah. Some. Of, some of them really put too much emphasis on that. Yeah. Just to leave bad review because you can't get drunk. Just get lost. But I, I just do not get this. Just, at least with... Mm, now with the other one, we also got... Uh, it, it seems that once it gets to that, it's the the foam stays at 50%, no matter how much you pour into it. Okay. A well, little I mean, bit less than lost. I mean, it, it, like, pouring beer... It, Perfectly is a skill, but I don't think it's as hard as the game makes it out to be. Yeah. 
Okay, what's going to happen? Also, I'm just going to look up. Yep. The sound is. I'm just going to type out Dave the Diver. Oh, hello. Yep, it's Momo's meow. I should follow him. Uh, walk fast, sit, uh -oh. mimic a cat? What? Oh, oh. Really? Oh, okay. He's getting this. They're getting distracted. Gotta keep the cat in sight. Yeah, are, are you going to? Yeah, I thought I thought you weren't going to go through that. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, making noise makes Momo suspicious, but we're so far back that they hardly seem to care. It just vanishes almost instantly. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to guess we get... Oh, oh, hello! Oh, they are Momo's kitten? <laughs> Momo's got a baby! <laughs> okay, that's cute. Or only one? Yeah, sometimes it happens. I, I believe... Uh... I believe female cats can get pregnant from multiple different fathers at once, which is sometimes... A, uh, I, I believe it's said to be why some uh, litters can just have such a variety in uh, the how the fur patterns and such of kittens, but it could also just be because, well, a lot of cats are just really mixed breeds. No, it's nothing, yeah. I was just... And I was like, eh, there's nothing to fear. This is just my servant. Speaking <laughs> from experience. <laughs> okay, we brought them in. Hmm? Three cats. Momo got new family members. Oh, lovely. Let them stay here. It's a lot. Uh, there is lots of food around. Dave, help me take care of the cats. Sure. Bonsu says she will have more muse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we can feed them the scraps of uh, the dishes that don't get served. And, well, the, of course, they're going to attract <laughs> a lot of customers as well. Okay. Yep. VIP and party day. Uh-oh. Okay. We've got a farming report. Let's see. We've got some weeds to deal with. And the magical number. Okay. Okay. Dave the Diver, beer, how to pour beer in Dave the Diver the easy way. Okay. So, can we still bribe you? Oh, no need more. No need for any more. Oh, okay. Mochi. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Here you go. Eats are gonna grow big and strong and take over the world. <laughs> yeah, those big ass eyes as well. But I th I think there's a photo I've shared a few times of one of Inky's siblings, whereas they're just looking over the little ledge that was keeping them penned in until they could climb out on their own, and then just staring with those big old eyes in the camera. Oh, I, I don't remember the random facts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, have you heard about the force chariot being pulled by goats? Uh, yeah. Freya has also a chariot being pulled by cats. <laughs> okay. 
And apparently one of them is named Hildersveen. It means battle boar. <laughs> okay. Why the head name a cat that is beyond me? Maybe because they killed one? Okay. Ready? I don't know they are big cats. Let's, let me, let's keep a four of you. You are uneven with the amount. You are solo, so we need to go find one of you. I probably sh I've lost a notepad that I kept nearby for some reason. Uh, as in, I lost it for some reason. I kept it around for making notes. Uh, I'll just use the wrapper of this bubblegum stuff. It's supposed to help with uh, teeth, but oh well. Uh, let's... Pen. There's pen. Okay, and teller. Okay. Uh, Parrotfish. Pen and teller? Yeah, pen and teller. This is, that's a duo of illusionists. Uh, okay. Never heard of them. Let's right tip reef shark. Okay. We can send off. Yeah, let's send all of you off. Okay, bluefin tuna. Okay, didn't we catch a bunch of those just yesterday? Yeah, but there's a chance for getting the row. Yeah. Okay. I think. Starry puffer. Marbled electric. Marbled electric sounds like a. Marbled electric sounds like a superhero name. A superhero named Sheep's Head. I'm gonna the side of the room in my bed, like you're just gonna hear me. Yep. Yellowfin tuna. So Lima Porgy. There. Yeah, if, if there was a way that I could do a, a few dives off stream, I would do this there. But yeah, since there's always a chance that we'd end up progressing something just by the passage of time. Uh, yeah, no. Flame Angelfish. Okay. Emperor Rainbow Rase. Okay. And that's all them in here. Okay. How's about over here then? Okay, a bunch gotten. All of the lower quality ones. A lot of scuttlefish. Uh, let's keep two breeding pairs. Okay, dusky grouper. Okay, plenty of mackerel. No, not all of those, just one of those. Uh, black tiger shrimp. Uh, we're catching these whenever we go anyways, so we'll get one of those eventually. Harlequin hinds. Uh, blue heads. Islefish, okay. Coral trout. Uh, long nose shark. Uh, we get those from killing those. What is this? Painted comber. Okay. Then the white trevally. Okay. Uh, big eye scad, we can send one of you off. Uh, we probably want to get some of you just to get more for better quality. Okay, clown frogfish. A 
question is going to, the question now is going to be if I forget this uh, note here next time to keep track of it. Gray Trevally. Oh, no, Gray Triggerfish. Okay. Trigger. Just right over. And that's about what we have here. Okay. Now about the 250s. Okay. Ooh, a lot gotten here. A bunch of fang teeth that can go off. Keeping the good one. Let's actually keep three breeding pairs of you for the moment. Grilled Shark, Red Bream, Cleone, Sweet Tweet Puffer, there, and Fangfish, uh, one more of those. Salmon Snailfish, okay, two of you. Magamouth, Rhino Thing, Cookie Cutter, Sea Toad. Okay, Sea Toad. And the Blood Belly Comb. Yep. Alright. No. We've seen that. Everything should be okay here. 97, 78. As long as it's underneath 100, they will breed. <clears throat> uh, actually, let me... No, we can actually run during this. <laughs> what? No, honey. <laughs> okay. Get that area done. Okay, that... I'm guessing there... Yeah, there, I'm guessing this means that there are four more areas that we can unlock throughout the game. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a bit more than six chapters. All right. Yeah, how long is this game? First we heard was told it was four chapters, then six, and now with more? Yep. Okay. Mm. John Watson attacks you again? Yes, he was wearing some thick improved... Oh yeah, we, we forgot to bring the part back. I don't know where Sea Blue earns all their money, but I hear... But I heard they got some high-tech stuff. I don't... I also don't understand why they'd be targeting you. As if you're snuffing, as, as if you're sniffing out some blue hole secrets they don't want you to know about. Yeah, I, I'm going to guess that's. Uh, yep. Yeah, I, I think. I'm not going to 100% say this, but I'm going to guess that they're relay, they're getting funded by the pirates. All right. It's all good since you're safe. Be careful though. Nope. Oh, okay. Not going to hand over the. Uh, the mechanical bits. Also, let's see. How much can we sell these for? I swear, I could probably sleep in this recliner. <laughs> uh, also, let's see. Hmm, let's do this. We probably should be focusing most of our resources back into this instead of on the personnel, but I think after we get El Nino trained up, we should be good with money. Also... Uh, no, nothing new here. Okay. Um, nothing else here, I think. We want some giant trevales for upgrades. And yeah. oh, oh, almost we should forgot. definitely go for more uh, Marlins. Yep, so we're getting that. And let's also grab this. And let's be a bit more specific with what we catch this time. Uh, I probably, yeah, I should have brought the tranquilizer guns. <laughs> oh well. So we specifically want. Marlins and sail fins, or fish, and we need to go look for the. Um, <clears throat> actually, uh, let's see. Marlin, zero to fifty. Okay. So rather shallow waters. Shallow comparatively. 
Hey Pizza, how are you doing? Uh, how was the other stream you were watching? Oh, hello there. Uh, uh, pizza Lover, hi, how are you? I'm good, you're feeling a bit sick again? Out of nowhere? That's, I don't know what's going on with my belly. Yeah, there's some. Okay. There. This has to be unwell out of nowhere. Okay, good to hear that. Okay, you're doing good. Uh, Apparently, the stream was also good. We need one of those. Uh, it's over. One of Thanks for raiding Star, by the way. <laughs> Welcome. Get some vinegar. Yeah, that's one we need. Might as well grab another, just in case. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just playing Dave the Diver and we're prepping for a dinner party, or yeah, not a dinner party, but a, a themed party that is going to start tonight, featuring Marlins. So we're out, well, trying to find some. Oh, that's some Flame Angel fish. Okay, that should have hit. And yeah, we're just grabbing some other things along the way to, well, hopefully get breeding pairs in our fish farm. Okay. Uh, let's see, 28 depth. Uh, let's a harpoon tip. It's a lover. OMG, for, um, second, I thought you were gonna say dinner date, not dinner party. <laughs> okay. I would not be surprised that there will be a dinner date at some point. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if uh, Dave ends up with a girlfriend out of all of this. So there's the sheep head. And we kind of want yeah. this one. I think I seen two. Well, I would not be surprised if they were, they were to become his girlfriend. Yeah, like the the hello, you're... You're new. Oh, yeah, we, you have seen those in the loading screen. Yeah, but I didn't know they were oh, down in this level. I didn't know they were this big, I thought they were small. Okay, Maker, there's no need to be this angry about Korra not wanting to be, be your girlfriend anymore. Just get away. That's not a Mako. Yeah, but there's a character named Mako. Who? <laughs> In the uh, Legend of Korra. How much health do you have left? Not enough. Okay. I'm going to skin you because we want to save our second drone usage for. Uh, Thresher a... Shark. Yeah. yeah, Thresher Shark. Okay. Not the Mako. Huh. Okay, I got that wrong. I think it's really we call those uh, basically fox shark. Red, hi. So okay. Was, I think all red, so maybe we call this one different. Okay, let me grab some oxygen. And the delivery oh, boat should be down here. The formula, there's two candles, I'm guessing. Like, the woman we did the only quest for in the beginning. Ning. Yeah. Um, I will also not be surprised if uh, the mermaid by the casino who made you look for a squid is a possible candidate. Uh, so I will not be surprised if there's be no love interest either. I will not be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, th there's l a love interest isn't a required thing in a story. Okay, the delivery boat should be down here. Yeah, uh, this is the first game. I would not be against if they save that the next game, perhaps, if they make a sequel. Let's see. We're out of the range where the Marlins swim now, so we'll have to go back up to try and find them. If we, if there is a second one swimming around somewhere. Well, yeah. With some luck, we should run into the 
into the boat around... Oh, okay, the Lambscombe Cave. We haven't found this place in a while. Let's not get run into the spikes. But I guess if this is here, then the boat isn't. Okay. It's a minor annoyance. But hardly a game break or anything. Yeah, I think we probably better prioritizing the current event before it progresses the story. Yeah. Also, we can finally get some of these now. Or some of these again. Seems we picked up something new. Finally make some progress on this eco challenge as well. Okay. Net gun. Okay, <laughs> would have been useful a little bit earlier if it even works on the jellyfish. Hmm. Honestly, I would have liked it if there were more of these uh, little biomes that could randomly spawn besides just this uh, one. It's your ugly butt in the box. Land click anglerfish. Okay. More jellies. And I completely miss. <laughs> okay. A point blank. Yep, little seahorse. And oh, I forgot to send uh, the personnel out to get more salt. That was dumb of me. Okay. It's a lot of sea grapes all over the place here. Hmm. I'll take that for a moment. And immediately forget to use it. Okay. I'm somehow not surprised. Let's see anything nearby to use this on. Actually, yeah, I'll just stick with the hush pistol. Okay. Since we're not out looking for combat anyways. Once we're done with the, the limestone cave, we just head back up, look if there's another marlin. And if there's not, we well we go find oop. We go grab ourselves uh, a tuna or two. I, I, I forgot <laughs> that we need to wait a bit. There we go. I think we could. Tuna, uh, tuna fish, the fisk, tuna fisk. Probably to tuna sounds like a, another one of our other Swedish words. Okay. It's really, it's really, it's really like one means fin, and another means barrel. Barrel fin. No, more of a, you know, beer barrel. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, no. Sort by weights. We're keeping that because it's new. Uh, we can throw you out, I think, though. Ugly mofo. Okay. Don't be rude. Well, it's dead. <laughs> Okay, there's you a clown up there. The dead, or they will yeah. haunt you. Oh, and that's a good thing I don't brain. believe in the ghosts. Too late. My brain went there. Something similar to 
the ghost of Christmas past. What, the, the, the ghost of Sushi past? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the ghost of last night's dinner. <laughs> God, that's actually, that could be horrifying. Okay, should be able to get oh, a few with this. That that could probably be very scary for pizza lover for. Yeah. There be a little that. pizzas. <laughs> Go. <laughs> pizza lover, why for me? Well, that's already been answered now. Oh. Okay, we can't carry any more. So, anything of this that we throw out? Mm, I'm going to keep those, I think. Uh, yeah, but let's, let's actually leave it at that, even though we've got an extra shot of this left. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we find a marlin or tuna on the way up. Hello. Have we caught you before? We did. We certainly didn't get you with the net, that's for sure. As a moray. Let's see. Any tuna or marlin? Though running into a marlin whilst we're slowed down like this would probably be a bad idea. Okay, this is for pizza. Or well, I uh, don't actually eat many pizzas anymore, as I have recently, by reason, I mean two months ago, that I am lactose intolerant. Okay. Uh, the poor thing. Oh, but, uh, oh, but, uh, you sneaky motherfucker. He, he okay, I, I thought. You. Yep. Uh, let's see, something to toss. Uh, Bloody There's more uh, great triggerfish. Yeah. Okay, I, I thought that was. Oh, no. Just use that. I thought that was going to be another of those annoying puffers that hide in the stand. But. Uh, okay, I don't have ammo. Uh, boop, 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 boop. No, you fucking don't. There. Get in the box. Or, or not. Uh, I'll leave it there for... Actually, it might despawn. Hmm. Okay, any marlins or tuna around? I'll swim fast, just for a bigger chance. Oh, that sounds like tuna. Yes, they tend to be rather noisy. And they... Oh, hello, oh, hello, 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 oh. Did I interrupt the duel? It's got its nose, it had its nose stuck in the, oh, in the wall. Okay. You got any net wings? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 okay, I'll take a double. A double or nothing. Or a double or fish. Gimme. Ow. And you... Actually, I'll just fight you. If I don't miss, that is. Yep, ow. I would say catch it. For high chance to get a breeding pair? I can't really catch it live now. Since we don't. I, I doubt it'd fit in the nets, for one. Okay, we're close to the surface if we lose too much health. There we go. Yeah. Yep. After this, if uh, Dave drinks anything, it's gonna just leave. <laughs> Marlin meat. 
There we go. Now we should have plenty for later. Uh, is that body going to still be? Hmm. I'll leave it be. It's probably despawned by now. We don't actually know if um, killed fish bodies despawn after a time, but I'm going to presume yes. So our last few snacks along the way out. There we go. Okay, return to the boat. But yeah, uh, how, how have you become lactose intolerant then, Pizza? I know that some people, if they get bit by ticks, that they can become allergic to meat. Oh, you more than that. Okay. New item. They can break your brain, Helion. Okay, 54 more. Oh, actually, we did catch three of them. So, yeah, that's a lot of marlin meat. Uh, also, note in the wrapper. It's a little cardboard wrapper. That's why it's writable. Let's see. Rainbow Rass. Okay, that can be... Uh, where is that? Uh, there it is. That can be scratched out. Salemi Porgy. Is there. These three purple sea urchins are purple sea unicorn. Starry Puffer. Flame Fish. Uh, there. Or Flame Angel Fish. Lagoon Triggerfish. That's a new one. Black Tiger Shrimp. White Spotted Jellyfish Row. That's a breeding pair. Orbicular Batfish Row. Okay, that's a, that's a few scratched up lists that we didn't have a breeding pair of, and that's going to be a few extra that's names to be added later. <laughs> okay. Fish. Oh no, my brain. Oh, crops are all grown. Okay. This is going to be the rice, I'm presuming? Yep. Okay. Uh, I think I see some weed. Uh, in zero. Oh, oh, it's the wheat that's grown. Okay, the rice isn't done yet. My bad. So, the wheat grows a little bit faster, it seems. Uh, let's see. Let's do some carrots. Okay, it's still watered. Okay. Uh, fish farm. Let's see. <clears throat> Nothing new here. Mm. We've got ten more minutes. Actually, no, we have more than that since we started late. Uh, I still could need to think about uh, how tired we are. And do remember, um, I don't know if I'm sick or not. Yeah. Is, is, is this, if things become too much, just say so, we can call it there. Di really? 70 oh, for, just for diamonds? Okay, 300 for each of these, that's better. Okay. Uh, silver bowls. You can sell all of those as well. Okay. Nice that it says that it is used as an enhancement thing. Yeah, used to enhance, used to enhance, used to enhance. Okay. Leg bones can be used for crafting weapons. Okay. Sailfish bill. Okay. These are not used, so we, those can be sold for a bit of extra coin. Hmm. Let's. We don't have another of these, but let's buy this just for the sake of it. And yeah. Oh, actually, give me a second. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, with this one, we can ensure a few knockouts. If we ac actually know the, the big fish don't... They didn't stay tranquilized long enough, so there's no use in that. Um, yeah, underwater rifle will be better then, since we will need to kill them. Beyond the two that we beyond two that we could catch, uh, not not live, no. Mm, a blobfish, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's how they look like when you don't bring them to the surface. Yeah, when they don't pop or practically pop. Okay. First priority is to try and find the, well, to find marlins, of course. Yep. Hydrate cat food. Right. Marlins and the delivery ship is what we need to find. Maybe we can just grab some things along the way as well. And actually, since a day has passed, if we go down low enough, we might get uh, to, we might get to use the use the underwater <clears throat> the underwater seaweed farm. So that would be another thing to try and go for, if we can. That was something spawning. That'll be useful. Parrotfish. Okay, not seeing any. Okay, that's a sheep head. Hmm. First priority. Oop. Wait, aren't, aren't those supposed to be only in the uh, in the limestone cave? Why are they outside of it? I really see these guys here before. Yeah, I'm not talking times. about these, but the the jellyfish. Oh. There, or or did the limestone cave spawn here? Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'll carve the nail a bit out as well. There probably would have gotten less if we if I had sent in the drone for that. Wait, what? Didn't you die before from one hit? Why is it why is it 32 damage now instead of 35? Uh oh, did that dumpling effect wear off? Uh, it, 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 it would have it would have worn off long ago since we exited the water. Hmm. Oh right, true. Oh I uh, true. We there's no harpoon hmm? tip. There's no enhanced heart spoon tip on it now to increase the damage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That explains it. Do we get a skull? Yes, we do. Okay, so that's another reason for us to go down to the Sea People Village and turn that in. Okay. Yeah. That little dumb bit cost me quite a bit of oxygen, but at least we have a, a refill here. Okay, the limestone cave did spawn here, but that means that the delivery ship isn't here either, again. Oh well. Um, let's go look if there's a marlin. Try and kill it, send its remains up to Bancho. And then we see if we can get down to the Sea People Village. There's a, there's a spear tip. A bit late on that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Aren't that nothing? What's oh. next? That's a thresher. What's next? Or is that a thresher? That's not That's a, a thresher. Bigger... Those are not threshers. Uh, uh, no, this is just a normal one. That, that normal one, I say, of a shark. What the? Uh, oh wait, we've had this before, haven't we? 
Oh, striped striped catfish. Okay. Yeah. We've had it before so that we've been chased catfish. by one of these. Also, aren't catfish like more in murkier waters? There are many different types of them, but I've never seen tiny ones swim around in swarms. And... Hello. Hello, Pierre. On guards. Uh, it. There. Okay, it's bleeding, so it should we should be able to just snag it. We, uh, I think you've gotten confused. Okay. You're not, not an ostrich. Set that up. <laughs> just clip it through. Okay. What about those catfish? So why are they also so hyper-aggressive? Okay. Yeah, a net gun would work best here, but we don't have that. Okay, just wait until they start losing interest. And then we pick a few off the flock. I'm just gonna or push the school. Down. Yep. School would be the accurate and <laughs> collateral damage. Yeah, but it may also be taken out of the context. There. Uh. Yep. It. Sit still, you mean little bastards. Yep. Yeah, it seems they are unwilling to go a certain distance from the rest of them. Uh, eight minutes remain or something? Let me check. Um, timer. Where's the timer? Yeah. Eight. Just under nine minutes. All right. Let me see if I can pull out the log. Yeah. Okay. That's enough of those, I'd say. Still don't really get why they're so aggressive. Maybe our card will review it we feel a thing. Uh, wait, what? Hmm? What, what do you was... say? Uh, I, maybe their card will reveal why they are so aggressive. Oh. I thought you said the card dealer. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I think we've had enough of those in L.A. Noir. Yeah. And then, now you can see why I got confused. Like, I, I doubt Dave works with cars. All right. I get the feeling we're not going to find another Marlin, so you're the unlucky bastard who gets sent in instead. And now we just head down to the village. Probably used that a bit early, but oh well. Oh, could have just gotten that. Oh, uh, well, one. Dead end, and one of these stingy bastards. Oh, it was going for another run there. Okay. If I had another drone use left, I would go for the shark to see if we can get a breeding pair. But instead, I'm going to try and sneak around this one. No, that's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Back to the limestone. Okay. We need pink seashells. Oh, uh, 
going to harvest you for your fin. Hopefully. Yeah, that, that drone is really freaking expensive to upgrade, but the amount of meat we get from something with them is really good. Especially since we can snatch multiple things in one net. That's one fin down, we need two more. But they are expensive for a reason. Yeah. I'm guessing they presume that by now you would have most of your gear upgraded a lot more as well. Okay, do we yeah. get another fin? Mm. Oh, lucky Here's day. The oh, there's even, say lucky even more day, down there. Lucky day. Both? Alright. I'm going to throw some of this away though. Uh, sort by weight, Barracuda, and Barrago. We, we're... <laughs> there's a lot of giant frivolis here, for some reason. Okay. Pardon? Pardon? Okay. Um... I'm yeah, going to need to shake you for a second. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, luckily the, the shark waits for a second for us to finish our little QTE with that. Uh, no fin. Okay, then no go. There. Okay. Then we deal with you, and then we just move on to the, the village. Hello there, big, big, big trucker. Or I must say, big road trucker. Let's see here. You really need to figure out how to get more rove users. R O V. Uh, we know how to. It's just that they're freaking expensive. Uh, yeah. How are you doing, trucker? There. So down. Uh, speaking of noir, I saw a listing for a De Soto yesterday. De Soto, De Soto. What is that? A car or something? Uh, also, I hope we are, so uh, we shouldn't be set for it if a now. Dish of food. Uh, it might be a word for uh, a dish, uh, but I don't recognize it. Uh, yeah, but I'm guessing it's a a, a car of sorts, trucker. Yep. Uh, trigger bomb. I'll take that along. Okay. Don't you need to kill more uh, spider crabs? Yeah, but I kind of don't want to waste too much oxygen by going back and forth. Ooh. Sensor bomb. Hmm. You need to drop a rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's, since oxygen becomes a lot less common down here, can we just go through in one go? Yep, no need to pause. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you uh, doing well, Trucker? If I uh, okay, so we can mm. still get hurt by these. Uh, should we save on the fishing vehicles and call it there? Uh, I'm reaching my limits. Okay. Um. Rubber chicken. Let's see. Yeah, he drew a desert. Oh, it's a car. Uh, yeah, I was thinking it was food. Okay. Uh, oh, you mean that uh, the car in LA Noir is a DeSoto or this, whatever you. I think, however, it said it could become a, uh, an emote or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hello, Zine B. Ven. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. And <laughs> Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm uh, Captain Hillian. Over there, I, we have my co-host, Drakir. 
And uh, Hello. yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, though we are soon going to end the stream, so it'll be a raid into another raid probably. And uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, this is Dave the Diver, which is a game that has surprised me a lot. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Hi, hi. That's fine. So can spread the love. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I tend to stream a variety of games. I've done a lot of things from uh, shooters to strategy, and currently busy with well, Dave the Diver here. Uh, yeah, we, we typically play sto games more for the story, though every now and then we just do a side stream just for the fun of it, with like Valheim or Borderlands. And technically we can count Borderlands also as a, a story games, but we're doing that with friends. But yeah. Uh, welcome, I hope, <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the short bit of the show that remains. And let's see. Okay. Let's call up the Beluga. <laughs> for speeding up a bit since it's cheap as well but uh, yeah this game it's a it's a bit of a mix of things the main there's two main parts the one where you're diving around fishing for stuff and well fulfilling quests and honestly all of this is not much of a of a spoiler here you find out about this really early on in the game though of course i'm not going to show too much for that since well we'll be uh will be done soon and yeah the other half of the game is uh, well running a sushi restaurant with the ingredients that you catch and grow over time because th this game yeah. this game starts off pretty simple but as you go on uh, more and more things become revealed even 20 hours in more little things got in and got added in and not things that complicate things things that actually add on to things uh, let's see. Yeah, um, as it should be. <clears throat> oh, human, the seaweed farm is ready. I see you've got some seaweed seeds. Uh, want to try planting them? Yep. Okay, new content. Like, like, like I said, we are now at 24 hours in, in on this game, and we're still getting new stuff like this. Uh, let's see. You can cultivate many different seaweeds at Gumo's farm. Seaweed seeds are available for purchase at the Gazin Seed Shop. Okay. Uh, let's get off the beluga. Oh, yeah. uh, thank you all for the raid. Yeah, very much thank you all for the raids. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm being dumb. Uh, what I... Sh some common raid etiquette. Let's see if this works now. Uh, let's see. Shout out Zine B. Ben. Okay. Uh, there we... Okay, the... The game part is still broken. What were you playing then, Sinibe, if I may ask? And let's... Uh, oh, great. Now, up oh, there we go. Yes. That's going to be annoying some with some games that they don't recognize the controller once the keyboard has been activated. Uh, let's go... <clears throat> let's go hand in the seahorses that we caught. There... You and you, uh, you are low yeah, rank, so that's not. Probably got called for a while. Um, I'm not feeling so good. Okay, uh, let's get to the mirror then and head out, and we will we'll go look for someone to raid them. <clears throat> but yeah, simply put, this game is probably one of my new favorites. Probably my favorite game of the year. Uh, I haven't gotten too far into Baldur's Gate. I've been holding off on that uh, for probably way too long. So that might prove to be a, a game of the year. Actually, from all I've seen of it, that's very likely going to be game of the year. Yeah, mm. look, wasn't the Drench almost a game of the year for you as well? I uh, don't remember, but it was a really good game. Not utterly amazing, but still very good. Yep. Okay. Sorry, little scene guy, you're getting cut up. Okay. All of the stuff. St yeah, striped catfish, blue tangro. Yeah, th th this game is just really, really good. There are some errors here, mostly grammatically stuff. But otherwise, in the gameplay and the animations and cutscenes that they give, I just I can give a full recommendation. But for yeah, now. This is a... 
it, it's like Valheim. It's a work of love and dedication. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think we can showcase one animation or one of the little uh, yeah one of the animations when you do stuff just to give an example of the quality of the pixel art in this game uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 we're going to get one of these with, with him then hey are you ready right on time have a seat it won't take long Okay, a bunch of ingredients we got. And now we bring this over. We are keeping our <laughs> we are keeping our finger away from the B button at all costs. And here you go. Time to blow another mind. <laughs> yes, this is it. The taste of this vegetable sushi reminds me of my younger days. Shut out. Your vegetable sushi is perfect. What's the secret? Mm. All I did is seasoning properly. I also got some help from my acquaintances for the ingredients. <laughs> Hello there, Otto. Uh, wait. Uh. <laughs> Son? <laughs> okay. I did what? not expect that. Dad? Um. I wondered who'd eat something like vegetable sushi. I didn't know it was you. Huh. I heard people talk about someone who looks like you. That's why I visited here and ordered vegetable sushi. Huh. Yes. Okay, so that was to draw you out. It's been eight years since you left home. You never con contacted us ever since. Uh -huh. Well, it's a long story. There was a storm and I got shipwrecked on an uninhabited island. Hmm. It was just trees in the sea. Uh. I worked hard to get food and water. Uh -huh. And sometimes hunted wild animals with a harpoon gun and roasted them. So basically you were doing what they's been doing, but on land. I had to spend some years on the island until I got rescued and settled here. Ah. What a story, Dad. Oh. I wanted to visit home after securing a stable life here. <laughs> but it took so long and time flew. I'm sorry, my boy. Oh. The folks at the village think you abandoned us, Dad. <laughs> my friends pitied me and some mocked me. Yeah. I began writing music and singing songs to relieve stress, and I became a rapper. <laughs> My son has grown into such a fine young man, even without me. I'm proud of you, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blamed you so much at first, but the music healed me, gave me inner peace. Oh, oh since you've come all the way here, why don't you stay at my farm? Shut out. Yeah, of course, like old times. <laughs> <laughs> since you're all grown up, we can share some beer together. <laughs> of course, drunk. Okay, uh, he, he's really accepting of that. A, lo a lot of people might not be that uh, after such a long time finding out that their son is a rapper. Uh, they might not think that kind of it. Rapping has a, a reputation, so I'd say. Yeah. Uh... Somewhat deserved, somewhat undeserved. Maybe I'm not here to judge on that. I'm here to, well, entertain and, well, <laughs> let's see. What a plot twist. That rapper was the son of Otto. They have something in common. Both are quite talkative. Yeah, I agree. It's a good thing. Pancho Sushi helped him read to reunite. The two must have much to say. I hope they can resolve their misunderstandings. Okay. We get a vinyl record. Okay. That, that was nice. Yeah, you get, you get these side quests with some uh, nice endings. Our li one of our cooks yeah. here, uh, her, uh, yeah, she has a bit of a tragic tale to it. And let's see, a uh, pizza lover. Yeah, very cool scene that was. This game has some very cool looking scenes. Yeah, I, I can show you one more, I think. Then we'll call it for so real. Let, uh, let me, yeah, let me enhance this.
<laughs> reverse jaws <laughs> but yeah okay that is where we are going to leave it but yeah i'll leave those as examples of how much love and work has been put into this game and we are even we are only in chapter five of who knows how many save and return to title and yeah now let's go look for someone to raid so we head on over here i close off the game and let's see switch then i change the screen share so drakir can see okay change windows there there and let's see we have armchair general who is streaming baldur's gate 3 they are they rarely stream these days uh, but i like them decently they, they are gruff i'll say but i don't think they're too bad of a guy then we have Mystic Meep, who is playing Palia. Chubbers, the Moon Seal, is still going with Elden Ring. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Jimmy McGinger with Toleo. They've been busy with that for quite a while. Lazarus is streaming Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cuts. Did we raid them recently, or did I just watch them solo? Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Hmm. Uh, WBPL is streaming Dark Cloud 2. Torpus Typus is streaming Near Automata, uh, Automata, which we showcased earlier as a trial thing. I'm a Flanker is still playing Warzone. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Backpack Hero. Can't say I've heard of that. Okay. Uh, Big V streams also with Baldur's Gate. Halloween is uh, playing Fear and Hunger 2. And the Little Karibo is playing Ace. Uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies. Okay. Um, Lazarus? Uh, let's go with Lazarus. Okay. So, we copy the name. We head on over to our own channel. And then we go slash raid and paste. But before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Zinebi Ven, for the raids. Uh, thank you, Pizza Lover and Big Trucker. And let's see, anyone else in chat here that I can Durvan Lord. see? Yeah, Durvan Lord. Uh, let's see, uh, Trucker, why do you keep moving your patch between streams? You should really pick a side. Uh, patch? What do you mean with that specifically, Trucker? Uh, why do you keep moving your patch between streams? Okay. Yeah, what, what exactly do you mean there, Trucker? Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, and of course, thank you everyone who came along with Zinebase uh, raids. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. And yeah, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow for a bit of a special stream since on Tuesday or Tuesday uh, morning, real early, like set with 4 a.m. I'm leaving to London for a short vacation with the family. So I'll probably be back by uh, Saturday to do more weekend streams. But yeah, we'll probably more Dave tomorrow, maybe something else. And yeah, we'll see what comes next weekend. But for now, let's start up that raids. And yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I. Wait. Wait, did I mess something up with the eye patch or something? It's. I think it's always on the same side. Oh. Wait. I think I know. I think your eye patch have been switching. Like, I think it's on the other eye when you play, but on different eye yeah. when you're here. No, it's not. It's on the same eye. It's like left, left. Are you messing with yeah. me, trucker? Okay. Either way, though, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah no. Thank you all again for watching. Us. And uh, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombie seagulls. And uh, big as Marlins. Big amount sharks. <laughs> <laughs>